Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to count this number of cells that have a specific background color in it. So if you look at the data set I have two colors orange and green and I will show you three ways to count the number of cells that have a specific color so I can count the number of cells that have orange color in it or green color in it or whatever color you apply. Now to do that I would show you three ways the first one would be to use subtotal function and let me first apply subtotal function here and you can see that it returns a subtotal in a list or database so when I hit tab you would see this entire drop down of these arguments that would be the first argument which is function number now you can select what you want to return from this range do you want to return the average of the numbers or the count of the numbers or the count a max min and so on and so forth but you would see that these functions repeat so from 1 to 11 I have these functions and again from 101 to 111 I have the same set of functions but there's a minor difference uh, which is that if you select any number from 1 to 11 then it would count hidden cells as well it would uh, use hidden cells as well for the calculation but if you use numbers from 101 to 111 then it would not consider hidden rows or hidden cells so in this case I would use 102 which is count if you want to use 2 you can use that because uh, there are no hidden rows here but I would use 102 here and I would then select this entire range which is the reference argument and I would press F4 to lock this now when I hit enter it gives me 19 because 19 is the number of cells in this range but what I want to do is I want to have the count of number of cells that have orange color in it so to do that I already have applied filter uh, in the headers if you do not have filter applied you can simply go to data and click on filter icon and now I would filter by color and when I hover over this option you can see that it shows me two colors which have been applied in this range which I have selected so now I would press orange button uh, this button to select orange color and as soon as I do that it gives me the count of cells which have orange color applied to it you will also have the count here uh, in this status bar which is 4 of 19 records found similarly I can also do it by uh, green color so if I do that it would quickly give me the count which is 3 so this is how you can quickly get the number of colored cells uh, using the subtotal function now let me show you another way of doing it and here we would be using an old macro 4 function which is the get.cell function and this function cannot be used in worksheets so for example here if I type get.cell you wouldn't see anything and, and this function wouldn't work in the worksheet but it still works in named ranges and we would take uh, this function and get the number or get the value for each color in the cell and then we would use that value to count the number of cells with the specific background color so to do that we first need to create a name range to do that I would go to uh, formulas and here in define name I would create a name range so the name would be get color the scope would be workbook and here I would type the formula manually so it would be get dot cell and the first argument of this function is what kind of information do you want to get about that cell so in this case I am typing 38 which means that I want to get the background color information and there are various numbers that you can use uh, I've provided a link to this functions explanation which is a forum link for Mr. on Mr. Excel and it will list out all those numbers that you can use within this function and what all it means 38 means that it would return the number uh, of the color that is used in the cell the background color so 38 is used as the first argument and the cell reference here would be A2 and I would press F4 thrice to lock it and now I would hit OK. Now what I would do here is I would go here and I would use get dot color name range and I would press enter and when I double click on this since as of now it gives me only zeros but I'll have to go back and check the name range. Uh, 
sometimes these ranges adjust itself so I'll press F2 and when I go here I would have I would go to formulas name manager and here I would edit this and this reference had changed I would make it A2 now when I hit OK you can see that I have a number 40 here for all those cells which have orange color in it and 50 here for all those cells which have green color in it now I would use this range to count the number of cells in each color so I have these colors here already shaded uh, in the color that I want to count and I would use the count if function and this would be my range I would press F4 to lock it and the criteria again would be get color name range and now when I hit enter it gives me three which means that there are three cells in this range which are in green color and similarly if I drag this down it gives me four because there are four cells in orange color now let's revisit the formula and see why it works this is the range where I want to count so these are the numbers and here get color value would be the value of this cells background color so in this case it would return 50 so if I select the named range and I press F9 you can see that it returns the number 50 because 50 is the color code of this color in this cell and since we have used the named range it uses the get dot cell function and then gets the number for this color if we go down and we check this uh, named range value then it is 40 because 40 is the number for orange color so this is how you can use a get dot cell function to get the number of all the cells that have a specific background color in it and finally we also have a VBA method and if you are using uh, if you're fine with using VBA then I would suggest using this because this is the easiest of all the three methods that I'm showing you and what we have done is simply we have used VBA to create a custom function and uh, let me first show you the code if I right click here and go to view code then it will open the VBA editor alternatively you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt F11 and when I press Alt F11 it opens the code window here you would have the projects uh, or the workbook names in this case this is my workbook and I have a module here when you're copy pasting this you would need to in, uh, insert a module to do that just right click on any of the sheet names go to insert module and it will insert a module now within module 1 I have this code now let me quickly go through this code it creates a function called get color count which takes two arguments the count range which is the range of cells in which you want to count the number of cells and the count color so you would specify the cell which has the color that you want to count and what it does is it has these variables uh, total count variable which would hold the value of the total number of cells that have the specified color and then there is this loop and, and at the end this value is assigned to the function that is the value that the function returns so let me show you how this function works all I need to do is I would use this function get color count and when you're typing this you would see that Excel has included it as one of the functions unfortunately you do not have a help menu for it so you would have to know that it takes two arguments and what is the argument that it is taking and the first argument is the range of cells I would press F4 to lock it and the second argument is the cell that has that color now I can select any of these colors I can select this uh, cell and it would give me the right result but I already have this cell the same cell in which I'm putting this formula and it has the same color that I want to count it for now usually we do not refer to the same cell in which we have the formula because it will give you a circular error circular reference error but in this case it's okay because it is simply taking the value of the background color in this cell so now when I press enter it gives me three because three uh, cells in this range have this color similarly I can again use this formula this would be my range F4 to lock it and the cell which has the color would be G4 now when I hit enter it returns 4 so quickly you have created a summary uh, where you have these cells with a background color and you get 
the number of cells in a reference uh, which has the same color so if you are okay with using VBA and custom functions I would suggest this is the fastest and the best way to use it since we have used a function here a custom function which has a code uh, you would need to save this workbook with the .xls or .xlsm extension so these are the three ways you can use in Excel to count the number of cells that have a specific background color in it I hope you found this video helpful thank you and have a nice day